This is my flightless fruit fly breeding operation. They do need a little bit of seasoning before they're ready to be consumed, however, and that's in the form of some calcium powder. I do have to keep several of these colonies at different stages of the fruit fly production cycle. That way, I never run out of food for my poison dart frogs. Flightless fruit flies make up about 90% of their diet, and since the flies don't carry any toxins, the frogs that are kept in captivity are also completely harmless. They actually get their toxins from the insects that they eat in their wild habitats. I also have a couple more closed jar ecosystems, which are also colonies to some of the food that I feed to my poison dart frogs, such as these orange springtails here. They give the frogs a little bit of variety, and they're especially good for baby frogs because they're so small. I also have this colony of purple dwarf isopods and compost worms, which is my cleanup crew for new terrariums. They help prevent mold breakouts and eat decaying plant and animal matter keeping that terrarium nice and mold-free and fresh. Check out my other videos if you want to learn more.